Can you guess what is at the end of this street? Hi, my name is Anne and I'm an English teacher here in Naju, South Korea. Today I just rode my bike because the weather is absolutely beautiful and it's starting to feel like spring. Squad goals. This is Naju outside of Naju City. Lots of farms, farmers, wild dogs, living their best life. There is a crane. Those are for Naju pears. Our children are safe. So today I am just taking a bike ride because the weather today is absolutely beautiful. It's about 46 Fahrenheit and the air pollution quality is super low today so the skies are so blue so i'm definitely going to be outside and just riding my bike and i just stopped a few minutes ago in nampyong area here to get some kimbap because i'm saving some money and it tastes pretty good one thing i like about living in naju is the land is very flat and there aren't many crazy big hills so it's great for riding your bike yeah, so I'm gonna go see an old train station today and there's also a really cute cafe that I've always wanted to go to but the taxi prices are about 20,000 won one way so I just figured I'd just wait when it's warmer outside and today is definitely the day for it. Can you guess what is at the end of this street? These trees are pretty and the outdoor space is really pretty. GGT Hot. Days like today, I just really appreciate my life here in Anju and really appreciate that I took a risk to come to Korea. I'm really thankful for all the opportunities I have and all the people that I've met and really thankful for like social media and technology because I probably never would have came to Korea without that. I'm thankful for my mom and dad for always being positive, especially like for riding my bike. I love riding my bike around Naju and Gwangju and parts of Korea that maybe you shouldn't do in bigger cities. I remember one time I was riding my bike with my brothers and one of my brothers wanted to turn around and go home so I like stopped in the middle of a hill and I scratched the back of my leg with a piece of my bike and I just told my parents I'm never going to ride my bike ever again, I'm really mad at my brother and I hate riding my bike and I think my dad said you can't just quit riding the bike just because of that one bad time 
And even with my brothers, I don't know if they like riding bikes anymore because they would always complain that our neighborhood back in New Jersey had too many hills. So I would always tell them, you go up a hill to go down a hill. And that's kind of what I always say for like anything that you have to fall down and then get back up and then fall down and get back up again. It's kind of like how people say life is a roller coaster. You have arguments, you have down periods, you have depressed moments. And this is a really good cup of coffee. It's really cute to see a lot of family members just sitting and talking, some of them playing. There's also a baby running around with squeaky shoes. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions about life in Naju or how to buy a bicycle in Korea or anything, then feel free to reach out to me. So this station was built in 1956, but it is no longer used anymore today. The original one was burned down when there was a revolt in Yosu and Sunchan. Let's see if we can go inside. No. Can we look inside? Okay, there's a teller. It says San Pyong Yok. They even have a heart right there. Here's a Naju map. So I randomly saw a sign for this temple as I was going back to my city and I figured I might as well just come here because it's always very calm and relaxing even though it's not my religion but it's just a very nice calm place where you could just enjoy the temple in between the mountains. This is part of the Nampyeong market. During the weekdays, the street is pretty busy. That tall building is the inner city in Nanju. So now I have to drive through all of the farms. Yeah, it was a really good day and I really enjoyed being out here in the nature part of Nanju, but I think it's time to go back to my city. If you like this video, give it a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next Life in Korea adventure. Thanks for watching.